Leo is amazing. This was released in 2023. It's directed by Robert Marionetti, Robert Smigel and David Waxenheim. And it's written by Robert Smigel, Adam Sandler and Paul Sado. And we have Adam Sandler voicing Leo and Bill Burr voicing uh, Squirtle. And Leo is a lizard who is 74 years old. And apparently he's going to die at 75. Apparently that's how long lizards live. And he decides he wants to do something with his last year of his life. But things don't go according to plan. Because Leo and Squirtle are actually class pets. And Leo ends up going to the children's homes when they take them home to look after them for a week. And it goes around each child. Each child gets a chance to look after Leo. And they find out one by one that Leo can talk. And the children begin to confide in Leo and he gives them some advice. And the really great thing about this is that we get to see a lot of different children looking after Leo and they have a lot of different problems, a wide variety of problems that children can relate to. Some of them are problems that older viewers can relate to as well. And I think that that's really brilliant because there's almost guaranteed to at least be part of the film that will speak to every single viewer. And I think that that's so wonderful. And they could have done it with a a film of just one key protagonist and Leo helping that child, but by allowing him to spend a week with each child, it really gives us such a great variety and the characters are all really brilliant. And Even the bully, the the class bully, is a likeable character because Leo is able to see past that and see what he's really like. And it's, it's really moving and really well done and I absolutely adored it. It's also very funny. And a lot of it, most of it is humour for all ages. But every now and then there's a little bit of adult humour. And it's humour that would go over the tops of the heads of young children. But it's there for adults to enjoy. And I thought that was very well done as well. There's not too much of it, but but just enough. And I, I, I found myself laughing on quite a few occasions. I really thoroughly enjoyed this. And the animation style, it is gorgeous. The animation quality is amazing. The colour palette is fabulous. Right throughout it, it's just so stunning, so beautiful. And then you have a gorgeous narrative with some really likeable characters and some really lovely messages, so many different messages about the importance of friendship, being true to yourself, how you treat other people, how you view yourself, how you present yourself to other people. It just covers so much. And obviously it all centres around Leo and it was really important that Leo was a a well-written, likeable character. And he is. He definitely is. So no problems there at all. It's a brilliant film. And I was very pleasantly surprised to see that on IMDb it's got 7 out of 10 across 33,000 reviews and ratings. That's a really high score in general, but particularly for an animated feature film. And I think that's just testament to how much people are enjoying this and how many people it's actually appealing to. I absolutely adored it. If you have Netflix, I don't know if it's anywhere else at the moment, but it is currently on Netflix. And if you like animations, it's absolutely worth checking out. It's one of the strongest animations of this decade that I've seen so far. And I've seen quite a few, quite a few animated feature films. And in terms of the animation quality, the narrative, the messages, the humour, the comedy, it's absolutely fantastic. It ticks all of the right boxes. I have nothing but praise for it. Leo is definitely worth watching. 